everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Burning Bills, where we explore the wonderful world of alcohol every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, we hope you like what we do, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means a lot to us. Today is a whiskey day and a special whiskey day because we keep going to, well, not keep, but we've been to a distillery several times and you just never make it. This is Balconis. Um, and it's a very popular uh, distillery. And you can get Balconis nationwide, except for a lot of stuff uh, you can only get at the distillery. And I think this might actually be one that's a distillery only. I could be wrong. They're always out there putting new stuff out there. But this is the Balconis, the High Plains Single Malt, Texas Single Malt. So it's a uh, Texas uh, grain, corn, it's, uh, I think it's got some corn, but it's a, uh, it's a single malt that is super high um, proof. So like I said, it's from Balconis, which is down in Waco, Texas. It's 57% proof or 114, 57% ABV or 114 proof. We're just kicking it off with a boom, huh? Yes. And it's um, costly. I saw online where it was like $62 at a place, but I bought it because I labeled it for $85. And I'm pretty sure that's what it costs at the distillery, $85. Uh, we probably bought it when it first came out, so it's possible. That it's a little cheaper now. A little now. cheaper. Um, it is also, um, the proofage on it varies from batch to batch. So um, they handwrite the proof on these bottles because they vary, I guess, from all sorts of different factors. Uh, no age statement. I like Balconis. It was uh, very hard to get into initially because it has such a unique um, flavor and um, style to it. I think we started with their um, basic Texas bourbon, the red label Texas bourbon. And it just took us forever to really warm up to that one. But we've pretty much become very big fans of uh, Balconis. Uh, I actually like their rye, their 100 proof rye. I think you and Cody were a little bit iffy on it, but maybe not. Cody says he likes it now. First time we tried it was under. All right, so uh, obviously this is gonna be a one barrel on cost. My partner today is very talkative, he's sleepy. This will wake him up. Hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and do the um, review here. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow, he's gone right into it. He's beyond me, or past me. Woo, that's a high proof. We're gonna shut down production here, so we're gonna notice that a lot of our episodes are filmed back to back, because I'm going on a trip, and I think that once we shut down production, I'm going to treat for these uninvited guests to the bar, these ants. They're just sugar ants. Looking for a little bit of this alcohol high. Okay. We are actually really close. Uh, for price, $85, or even if it was a 62 that I saw online, it's only, it's a one barrel, so it's kind of pricey. For Roma, I'm giving it a four, you're giving it a 3.5. What you got on Roma? Yeah, it smells, it's so like, for, I got the um, a little rose and a little minty, spearminty kind of. Okay. It's got a very balanced, 
aroma to it, so it's a little harder to pick things out. I find it very sweet on the on the nose um, from vanilla. Uh, some rye aspects to it. I mean, it's it's got a spicy ryeness to it. Uh, a little caramel, some dark fruit, and I can see that rose. Yeah, I kind of get the mint too. For flavor, it, it smells wonderful though. That's why I gave it a four. You gave it three point five. For flavor, I gave it a four. You gave it a four. It's very rich and velvety. Yes. In its flavor. It's like that's the first thing that hit me was like. So this is barley. Texas barley, but it's got a spiciness of rye and a sweetness of corn. Uh, yeah, I find it very silky, uh, spicy, and I get hints of apricot on the, mm -hmm. on the taste. Got a, the caramel, a little bit of caramel in there. Okay. And, um, For bite, this is, for the first time, um, I'm downgrading this. You give it a three, which I can understand. I'm giving it a 2.5. 2.5. I gave oh. it. Go ahead. A three, but a three plus because of the. The proofage, yes. The proofage is, makes it if, it, if it was like a regular 80 proof, I don't think this would have a very. Right bad bite at all but we've had high proof before that wasn't wasn't this, so this is really spicy and strong i i think it's very silky and um spicy but it's got some lingering to it I oh just, yeah it, you can definitely yeah. tell it's a high proof and it doesn't matter if i said it was a three and you said it was three barrel five it's still gonna end up being a three barrel overall but this is not a three barrel this is to me a four barrel whiskey yeah, I mean, I, it's just the price that's yeah. bringing it down. I gave it a bonus um, because this is wonderful and really good uh, addition to the Balcones shelf, which that's only half the shelf. We have, I think, a total of 13 of their bottles, um, and we only have, what, nine up there. So they, they produce a lot. But this is really good. I suggest if you can get Balcones, do so. Uh, I'm not part of the Balcones army. You know how there's um, like the Scotch armies of Lafroy and Ardbeg and they're always the, fighting back and forth. The fanboys. The fanboys. I'm not part of those either. I like them equally. Uh, the same with Balcones. They seem to have a, a Balcones army. I'm not part of that. But I do like all of their products. So definitely try to pick it up. And if you can get the High Plains uh, single malt rye, you should definitely think about that. Check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Uh, Mondays are oddity, non-whiskey days. Tuesday, Thursdays are whiskey days. Wednesdays, coffee. And then, of course, Fridays, cocktails. And check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is really good and strong yeah. whiskey. Cheers. Laters.